this week's video, I'm going to show you how to apply Gamblin's Oil Ground to a hardboard panel. And if you watch to the very end, I'll give you a tip that can save you some time and some money. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Brian McCormick, and this is Gallery Bry, where every week you can see videos on oil painting, gouache painting, and even digital painting and procreate. So if you want to improve your painting skills, you can hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss the videos that come out every week. For this week's lesson, we're gonna need the following materials. We're gonna need Gamlin's Oil Ground, but you can use any brand that you like. We're gonna need a hardboard panel. You can even use canvas if you like to use canvas. We're gonna need some sandpaper, we're gonna need a palette knife, and then we're gonna need a squeegee or a scraper or a trial to flatten out and smooth out the ground. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sand our panel. We're gonna sand the edges to get rid of any rough edges, and if you want to, you can even sand the middle of it to give it a little bit more tooth, which can help the ground bind to it a little bit better. The next step is for us to size the panel. Sizing is essentially sealing the panel to protect it from any oil in the ground. According to Gamblin, you don't need to size hardboard panels or wood panels. You only need to size fabric like canvas. However, I like to take the extra step. So this is completely up to you, whether you want to size or not. Let me know down in the comments if you size your panels and if you think it's beneficial. To size the panel, I'm going to be using GAC100 from Golden. It's essentially an acrylic polymer that you can use to seal the panel. You can also use Gamlin's PVA size. It's also used to size supports so that it can protect it from any oil in the grounds or from your paint. The next thing that we want to do is apply our oil ground. But first I'm going to talk about how oil grounds are different from gesso and how they're beneficial for oil painting. So oil grounds are made of oil paint versus acrylic paint and they're less absorbent than gesso. Gesso is very absorbent and will absorb oil paint and make it very dull and hard to move around. The nice thing about an oil ground is that it's not absorbent and you can push and move the paint around on the surface and you can even do reductive style underpaintings to lift out paint to reveal the white of the ground. So it's very effective with oil painting compared to gesso. The first thing that we want to do is open our can and you want to stir up the primer just a little bit to make sure that it has an even consistency. From there you can take your palette knife and apply a very small amount to your panel. You don't need much, you only want to apply this in very thin layers. After you have that first layer applied, then you can go ahead and apply your second layer. But you're going to want to wait till it's touch dry or just wait a day if you want to be safe. Now, on your first layer, don't worry if there's a little bit of the panel showing through. That's perfectly normal. It's going to get covered up with the second layer. So again, once it's touch dry, you can apply that second layer with your palette knife and with your scraper, and you can scrape that over the surface. Now again, if you want to leave it the way it is to have a little bit of texture like I do, you can just leave it plain, or you can use a paint roller or a roll of paper towels just to give that a little bit more of an even texture so that you have an even surface to paint on. Now once you have both of your layers on, you're going to want to wait about a week before you paint on it. And then after about a week, if you want to, you can give it a light sanding if you feel that the surface is a little bit too smooth and if you want to give it some tooth if you didn't go ahead and apply the paint roller or the roll of paper towels. It's very light sanding is all you would really need to give that a little bit more tooth to make sure that the paint is going to adhere to the ground. So I'm about to give you that bonus tip that I was talking about, but before I do, if you're getting any value out of this video, please return the favor and give this video a like. It also is a great way to find the video again because anytime you like a video, you can research your liked videos so that it's easy to find when you want to find it later. So with that, let's go ahead and get to that bonus tip. All right, so here's a tip that can save you a little bit of time and money. So these grounds can be very expensive. The can that I'm using was about $20. If you get the full size, they're closer to 50. Some of the other ones can be $60. So you don't want to waste it if you can. One of the things that I do is I keep a spare panel or 
piece of canvas paper around that I can scrape off the excess ground onto each time that I'm working in a batch. This way, I'm not scraping it off on a piece of cardboard or I'm not scraping it off and getting, you know, not all of it into the can. This way, I just apply it to something that I'm gonna paint on anyway and it saves me some time and it saves me money because I'm not wasting this expensive ground. So hopefully that's a good tip for you guys. If you guys liked this week's video, and if you want to see more every week, you can hit this round subscribe icon right here. And if you want to see another video right now, you can click this one right here. So I hope you guys are doing well, and we'll talk to you soon.